Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining for today's video. So today's video is a little bit different. It isn't for anything specific, but I did want to create. So, I don't know, let's have a chat. I feel like my scrappy mojo has got up and walked out the door and I'm struggling to get it back. I Obviously I do have to do some layouts and I have to do some other layouts that I've struggled with and ended up not doing. For example, this week's Scrap Backwards, I have done and I haven't posted the video because it's A, very long and B, very disjointed and it just, it didn't sit right. I didn't feel like it was any good. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But, for example, Hey Little Magpie, I posted that one over on that channel yesterday and I love that layout, but it didn't come naturally. I found myself sort of putting it off and yeah, the Scrappy Mojo. So I don't know about you guys because I'm sure our Scrappy Mojo leaves us all at one point or another. What do you do to bring your Scrappy Mojo back? Of course, there are things like sketches, scrap lifts, Pinterest, Facebook groups, friends, Zoom, classes, all that kind of stuff. And it all works to various degrees for various people, I suppose. We're all different. Some people love a sketch, some people love a scrap lift. But do you ever get where even that isn't pushing you? Is Even that isn't giving you the... I suppose the urge to create, to get creative, to pull out your supplies and some photos or just supplies or whatever and just get creative and scrap. Of course, it's a creative outlet. So yes, you can sit down and you can try. You might end up pushing paper around for an hour. It's still good. You're still with your supplies. We all love our supplies. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing as such. But what, what do you do when you really want to scrap and it's just not coming? So what I, what I do sometimes is I'll sit in my scrap room slash office and just look around because I am very fortunate and I never forget that. And I do have a lot of things to choose from. Sometimes that's good because it's like there is something for everything. Sometimes that's bad because there's too much and it's overwhelming. You don't know where to start. Do you pull this out or that out? Do you go for this or do you get Vicky Bootin or Paige Evans or Echo Park or Christmas or Spring or Autumn or Nouveau Drops or Ink and the list goes on and on. So it, the, there are pros and cons to having a in not an insignificant stash and I'm sure we're all like that because I know I haven't been scrapping for that long at all really. I suppose we're now on... Let me work it out in three years. I've probably been doing it to a bigger extent and probably two and a half years where it's been a major part of my life where I've scrapped most days unless I've been ill, um, especially this year, even I suppose before last this year, I even scrapped when I was a bit under the weather. But this year I've had some days where I just can't or I'm away and I'm not at home or and things like that. I generally scrap every day. But for the last month, even two, I haven't and I've really missed it. At one point I hadn't even scrapped for 10 days. Not a single thing. And I did not like it. So I'm trying to ease myself back into it. I'm trying to be creative without putting the pressure on but it's hard because you've got that voice in you saying scrap, 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 scrap. And you've got the other voice saying, nah, nah, nah. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. So I'm just blabbing on, really. What I'm trying to say is, today, I was just came, it's been a long day, it's been a Monday, and I just came and sat in the office for a minute, had a look around, and I've, that's another thing I need to do, the craft room tour, but above me, I've got like a hanging thing now. And it's got, lo it's got different things on there. Oh, so sorry, that is so rude. I could not stop that yet then. So I've got like things that are new or things I want to use or whatever. And I've also got a basket that's 
It was intended to be for things I want to use, but it's currently filled with randomness. <laughs> and in that was a load of JD 3D products. Do, 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 do. Just pulling them out to show you. So I have got pretty much every JD 3D product that they've ever made. I am fortunate, and I know that, and I love them. I've used lots of them, and I always will. I can't wait to get my hands on the new Christmas stuff that Sarah released last night. And, yeah, looking forward to it. But I was looking at it, and you can see I've got all these leaves dotted about. I had three, four packs of leaves, and I really wanted to use them. I don't know why, just had this urge. So I thought, let's jump on and do a layout. Absolutely nothing. It's not for a series. It's not for a hop. It's not for a DT. It's just me trying to be a bit creative. And it's probably not even that creative, if I'm honest. But... I'm putting stuff on paper, I'm sticking stuff, I'm painting stuff, it's creative. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a wreath layout from JD3D products and flare from the awesome release from the flare hut. I'm using no pattern paper apart from a tag, which you will recall I tried to use on another layout. I can't remember which one now, but it was in that basket that I just talked about. So we're going to use that. And it's all JD3D leaves and stars plus this memories title. Although I have just seen this Ellie Studio Autumn Fun, so I don't know which one we'll use yet, but I will be using one of them. I'm not using a photo. What I thought would be kind of cool is, <clears throat> and again, this just came to me from sitting here, having a look around, having a moment to myself, having a bit of quiet time, because, you know, I, I love, I don't like being alone. And I love being with who I love being with. But I also like my own time when I'm not alone. So where I'm not alone in the house, but I have my alone time away in another room. If that makes sense. Again, we're all scrapbookers. So, well, we're not. We're all creative people. So I'm sure you get where I'm coming from there. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm so sorry for rambling on and on and on. Um... So it just sort of came to me, how about I create a sort of title page? Because you will all know I'm terrible for filing away my layouts. I have a pile that is literally the height of me, all ready to go in albums. <clears throat> so what I thought is I could have four albums, autumn, summer, spring and winter, because I don't scrap chronologically. I'm not scrapping for kids or family or a partner or anybody. I'm scrapping for me because I love the process. What happens to them in years and years and years when I'm a dondering old man in a wheelchair with grey hair? I don't know. Who knows? So I could just do like an album filled with autumn stuff and spring, summer, winter. So we're going to do a title page for the autumn album. And I'll use layouts I've already got to file away and we'll create new ones for that. Is kind of where I'm going and maybe I'll make it into a little mini series I don't know not gonna commit we're just gonna create today so I've pre-drawn a circle because I refuse to draw a circle live on the internet anymore because I am awful at it <laughs> um, the compass came in very handy once again Jean thank you <clears throat> still can't get it perfect though who knew it was so hard um, I have played about with some distress oxide and I think I'm gonna go for these two which is gathered twigs and bundled sage. I have got a lot of JD3D. I've probably got, let's see. I've got over 40 pieces of JD3D, which is ridiculous. And we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, flare. I don't know. We'll see what we end up with. Plus the JD, oh, JD3D title that says Memories. This was part of the Autumn Memories where it came as two words. So you get two, four, use it together, use it separately. And as I say, I just saw this Ellie Studio title. And I've also got that title up there, which is Love This. Love This. And it's in this gorgeous colour which matches some of the leaves I have. And I've also got some epoxy, mini epoxy flare from the flare hut. 
and it's the mini sunflowers which I am obsessed with. I'm obsessed with mini epoxy if I'm honest. I think they are absolutely amazing. So let's see where this goes. I may like it, I may not. It's going to be a chunky layout. I love chunk. So yeah, what I thought is I'm going to paint over my circle because I have done it in pen. <coughs> and I think we're going to do sort of two. So we're going to do a messy circle inside using gathered twigs and a messy circle outside using bundled sage or the other way around. We'll see. And yeah, that's where we are going with this. So it's just a rambling, chatty, creative-y sort of video just to update you as well because I'm conscious that I keep saying oh yeah yeah I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then it just doesn't happen here on YouTube and I miss you guys I really do miss creating and filming and all the rest of it so I am trying to get back into it I am trying to push myself so here we go so I am just gonna get some water and whatnot I've got some plastic sheets here and then let's do a little bit of creativeness and whilst doing that, I looked up and saw my Nuvo drops, so I pulled them out. We've got Copper Penny and Bottle Green. Both of them are metallic. Whether I remember to use them or not remains to be seen. So that is the colours that I'm going to use. I just think they match the leaves pretty well. So we've got a mix of orange, green, this, I don't know, is it burgundy? Burgundy brown? and this brown and then some gold so really mixed bag and i love it all okay i am going to move this down i need to see where you can see it so i'm going to move it slightly down just so i can reach and let's get the first part on i think we'll start with green and let's move the flare i've also got these as well so these are some of the packs i've used of jd this is what I decided to keep from the autumn release from the flare hut and then the rest of like the sets that I make up to show on the live went into a prize goodie bag. Simple Stories, Cozy Day Sticker Book and Colour Vibe Fall Alpha and then a couple of Ellie Studio autumn releases. May or may not use them. It's going to be quite a simple layout for me because I'm not using pattern paper again. What's going on? Okay, so I'm just gonna put a load of this on here. This is bundled sage. It's not a color I use frequently, if I'm honest, but it seemed to be the one that I felt matched the best. So, spraying a little bit of water. Apologies, you can't see much of this part. Just gonna spray that on, there we go, and then I'm literally just gonna paint it on. Very roughly. I want it to be like a rustic kind of wreath. So do you know like when you've got your twig wreath? 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 Wreath. I do apologise. Try and talk properly from now on. Uh, wreath, like when you've got a bundle of twigs or gathered twigs, as uh, the Distress Oxide says. So I'm just going round like that, nothing heavy, because I don't do mixed media, remember guys? I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Okay, so I'm just coming round like this. Need a bit more water on that. Do, 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 do. I'm hoping, so I've got a couple of things coming up. We're doing the Vicky Booty and Evergreen and Holly class which is coming up. Just sorting the kits for that and I'm hoping that's gonna give me a boost because I wanted to try and do that weekend as in like do it. I need to check the date though because I think we might be at a crop. Hmm. Didn't plan that very well. Uh, so yeah but hopefully even if I have to watch it on catch up the day after. Vicky's classes are always great. So I'm hoping that will. And we've also got in the flare hut um, a whole month of like prompts and fun stuff going on. So maybe that will help as well. That's for the advent calendar folk. I've made a right mess here. Do -do -do. So it's just a chatty with me video. 
not for everybody, which I understand. Okay. So now I'm just going to switch over my brush, get rid of that packaging. I am lazy, I don't reuse packaging. Once it's been used once, that's it. And let's move on to the brown, which is gathered twigs. Gathered twigs. Okay. Again, a little bit of water. I've probably still got a bit of green left on the brush because I'm not washing it between, which is fine. And then I'm going to go inside with the brown like this. So just mixing it in really. Putting different pressure on it. Covering some of the green, not covering some of the green, mixing it up. And then what I might also do, I'm not sure, I've just looked up. That's partly why I've got this hanging pole basket thing in front of me. It's like a pole from Ikea that you can add hooks to, etc. Part of the reason for that is some new stuff or stuff that I come across as I build kits or look some up, pack orders or whatever. Uh, if it's inspired me a bit, if it's inspired me, I'll just leave it out so that I actually use it. These being one of them, I'm loving them at the minute. And then I've also got this, which is Falling Leaves from Simple Stories. Now, I've not used this yet, because I've been using the leaf stencil that Lisa designed for the flare hut. But maybe we could give this a go. And just sort of continue the wreath design, but stencil a few leaves on maybe. And I think if I was to do that, I'll go back in with mowed lawn because that's one of my favourite greens. And I think it's, it, it will work with what we're using. It might not. Time will tell. Okay. I'm just going to get this dry and then we'll be right back. So I've got... This, this is another one that I've not yet used since I started washing them. And I'm just going to try it out. I'm going to try it out down here first because I know that I'm going to put the tag here. So I don't want to ruin it now. So let's see. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just going to keep going round basically, like so. We're not doing it particularly evenly, we're just going round, doing a bit of stenciling. I do love stenciling, I have to say. Like so. Love it. And like I say, I don't do mixed media, and I can do this. So if I can do this, anybody can do this. And I'm not just saying that. I've gone a bit too far out there. Does it matter? No. Ordinarily, I would get myself all worked up about that, but nope. I'm going to add a bit more there. Why not? Even it up, and it becomes part of it. There we go. So I kind of need to add a bit more here now. OK, I think that'll do. And that, that's pretty much all we're going to do for our background. Yes, you can still see a bit of the pen. Yes, I'm not going to hide it. So you can see there, you can see a bit. Doesn't bother me. It's not a big thing. So let's get cracking with our wreath. So I'm going to use Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to adhere most of the JD3D. If there are any small fiddly bits, I will just use a bit of this because I'll go for the easiness. And I think I'm going to use a couple of these epoxies and this. So let me just grab this Ellie's title out of here. I really miss the wood veneer and cork and acrylic. So I do want to keep Have a Cozy Day on there. 
So I need to decide whether I should do that or that. I'm thinking autumn fun actually. So let's get our tag on and I am going to use some foam. So I'm just going to grab some fun foam and add that to the back of the tag. Let's add that here. There we go. Bish bash bosh, as they say. I don't know who they are, but very wise they are. Okay, so I'm going to add that about here. So that's going to be like my focal point, if you like, with this woodman here title sort of here. So what we're going to have to do is add a bit of foam here. So I've got my foam pads. So let me just add just a couple. Like so, see if that's going to, no. Nope. So we need to add a couple to higher it. Higher it, that's not right. Heighten it. Come on there. So yeah, these foam dots are from the flare hut and they're very easy to uh, use. Obviously all foam dots are very easy to use. Um, they're just the right thickness for the flare, of course. But you can use them for other stuff, just double them up. So I've added some tape and I'm going to add that So we've already got a chunky start to our layout with that, as you can see, quite chunky. Just the way I love it. So you, we could even double up autumn fun memories or whatever, but I think I'll save memories for another time. And let's focus on building our wreath. Now this is where I wish I'd taken a picture because I did have a play beforehand. But <clears throat> let's just go through it. So I'm just I'm gonna commit straight away. I'm not gonna move things around the page, faff around or any of that. Because oh my goodness, we've had a glue accident. All of the glue has just poured out from the Nuvo. That is not good, guys. Well that leaf's gonna stick now, isn't it? <sighs> okay, I shall be right back with you. Well, that was a disaster. Literally the entire half bottle, three quarters of a bottle of a brand new Nuvo adhesive gone in the bin. Anyway, I did stick this one down. <laughs> Managed to get just a little bit of it. And I have still got a bit of uh, in this old one. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I am just going a bit crazy with the JD. And we're just sticking some elements on. What I thought is of bundling, if you like, some of the leaves and then using the flare to sort of give them a centre point, if that makes sense. I don't know if I am making any sense at all. So by that I mean like I'm going to put a flare there. So we'll have to double up our flare, our foam. But I don't know, I just had this urge to create a leaf out of JD 3D leaves. So that's what I did. It's, uh, I, lo I love the, I love the texture of the 3D, I have to say. And um, we're also going to add in a few stars just to give another shape to our layout. There we go. So these are, I think these are still available. These were one of the first ones, I believe, because uh, everybody loves a star. So I'm not adding them in any particular fashion. And then of course we have got our epoxy flare, which I just used a little bit of adhesive on the back of. And I want to factor those in as well. So that's my first little cluster of two leaves, three stars, one flare and one epoxy flare. And I love it. Then I've got these two, which is Autumn Vibes and this Hedgehog on a bike for nothing other than I think it's really cute. So I don't know where I want to put them. So they're going to be one that I sort of leave to the 
to the last minute and see where they fit in. I'm going to add a couple more of these leaves. These ones are different again. Look at the detail of them. And we're just sort of going to add them in. And I've got two flare for this one because have you ever tried with your flare, if you are a flare kind of scrapper, doubling up your flare? So I've got this one. This one was from the DT inspiration for this one, actually. I uh, need to turn that around a bit, actually. Um, so each month, the Flare Hut DT will have inspiration using a particular flare set. So that's what that one's from. I think it's called Autumn. Original. It's quite hard to think of names sometimes. Okay, I'm just going to take that off and double up our foam pad on this one. So this is from Flor Autumn Floral Medley. This is from Nuts About Fall. And then I'm just going to pop that on there. So we're overlapping our flare. And I just love the look that that gives. Also excellent if you are doing sort of like cards or a framed layout where dimension isn't necessarily an issue. So I wouldn't do that on every layout because it does get a bit bulky, obviously. Now we could even, so I'm gonna use one of these epoxies. This is from Autumn Vibes, and it says Autumn Vibes. And I'm gonna stick that one in here. Oh yes, I love the epoxy. And then we're just gonna continue round basically. So I will do this one with you and then I'll probably go off and do this one, this one and this one and come back and do the main one. Or actually let's do this one and then we'll do the main one. I'm gonna stick that there. And let's move on to this main. When I say main, it's just because this is where I've got the big title piece and a lot of the bigger pieces as well. Okay, so let's pop this on here. So when I do a wreath, I, I don't obviously want everything to be inside the wreath as such. <clears throat> I do want it to come off so we've got the tag going up, the leaves in and out, we've got the title coming out. And that's why I love the way that title just sits on the wreath, it like nestles in. And I just think it works. I love it. And then I'm going to add some leaves. So we've got this one here. We have got a diddy diddy one. I love all the different styles of leaves as well. I really like that touch. Another flare. <clears throat> There. So it's just, it's creating but not really thinking about it because it is a wreath, it's not rocket science and I have had a play around before. So I want that, I need to make sure the foam, there we go. So when I'm doing that I'm making sure the foam is on the card rather than on the actual 3D, whereas here it's on the 3D. So it varies depending on the amount of dimension I'm wanting per one. And then I've got a couple of these sunflower mini epoxy, just knock that glue over again. It's one of those, one of those days, it really is. Okay, then we've got a couple of stars for there. And I want to incorporate this side into this cluster. I'm calling them clusters. It's like area, whatever you want to call it. This part of the wreath. <clears throat> so let's pop this one there. This bright orange is gorgeous. I love the colours of autumn. 
and I'm sure I'm not alone there. So I'm going to put that on there. So it's going to be quite a big cluster going on there. And I think I want to steal one from another area. I feel like we need a third one up here. So I'm going to put this one up there. And then I've got two flare put up here again. Let's see. Let's see what we want to do. So I think I want this one, which is another from the DT Inspiration set, to go on the 3D there. And then I think I'd quite like this one to sort of go separate to the leaves. And I'm going to add in some more of these gold stars. So I've used a full pack of the stars on here. I I'll use a star with any kind of layout really. And I don't mind mixing stars with other shapes, circles, hearts, all is good for me. So you can see we're stretching it over a bit there. I'm gonna put one there, the diddy diddy one. And I'm gonna put one here, like so, okay. So that is where I'm up to, and we could quite easily leave it there, but I am going to add more. So let me just go off and do a little bit more because it is very repetitive, and we'll come back and finish up together, guys. So coming to the end of this, so I thought I would jump back on and finish it off with you guys. So as you can see, I've gone crazy with the JD 3D and used it all up. Don't stash it, use it, as they say. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the last leaf there. And then I've got a couple more flare I'd like to add. We'll see if we then go ahead and add anything else or whether actually we're done. But I'm sure we'll be adding something else because this is me and that's what I do. So I'm going to add that leaf on top there. I've also got this green flare that I think should go there. Got another mini epoxy again. This is all, I've used the full set of the mini sunflower epoxy. Just because I love them so much, I, yeah, I love them. I love the fact that they're mini and I love the fact that they're sunflowers. And some of the sunflowers on the autumn medley. I'm gonna add a star there just to bring the 3D stuff around the page. And that's it. <clears throat> that is the wreath completed and it is really heavy but look at all of that all of that goodness so I feel like I'm missing something up here so let's see if there is anything sticker wise I don't think I want to really add any stickers if I'm honest although I've just seen autumn in my heart it is in a pink but i think it'll work because of the flare so let's stick that there and then what have we got we've got some flowers and leaves here so i'm going to add one of the leaves just here just to fill in any glaring gaps i don't want to add too many because the focus for me on this layout is most definitely the 3D. <clears throat> so I'm just going round seeing. I think maybe add a little pop of something there. Yeah, I don't think I need much at all. <clears throat> Now we do have the houses and I could add some and then we'll be uh, fitting the challenge in the flare hut this month, but I don't think I need to. I am going to add another flare down here. This is one of our word flares. It says autumn season. Oopsie-daisy. Just doubling up those foam pads again. Autumn vibe, sorry. Autumn vibe. So we're going to stick that down here. Love that. Um, yeah, I think that's probably probably enough going on. You know, I say that and then I do. <laughs> you know what I do, guys? I find other things. 
So let's add, I'm going to add an epoxy and I'm actually using a bit of foam as well, a foam pad, because I'm going to sort of layer that on this leaf a little bit here. Love the way that looks. And that's actually the first time I've done that with the epoxy. Another thing that you could do with the epoxy on some of the bigger 3D is actually like stick them almost fully on. I don't think I'm going to do that now. I am going to go through the Ellie's Studio Autumn Hearts and Stars puffy stickers and decide whether we add some Nouveau drops or not. I don't rightly know about that. So I'm going to add a couple of these hearts before I look at the Nouveau. And I'm kind of sticking to the colours I've already used because it's working for me. And we're just going to add, as I said, don't mind using hearts with stars and vice versa. So I am going to add some hearts. We've got enough stars going on. So let's bring in the lovely hearts. <clears throat> Just a couple here and there. And then I think we will add some Nevo drops. I feel like I need to use them. So I'm going to add a couple under this title. So we're going to add this colour first and I'm going to test it because the way that it went before, well, I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so that's fine now. So let's add one there. I love that they self-level because that's what prevented me for using, from using them for so long. And then I saw somebody use them. And I was like, oh, that's actually quite easy. <laughs> you know how it goes. Okay, then we're just going to add in few random ones here and there. I am so pleased I did this and if you have watched this whole video then thank you. I would really love to hear your thoughts on your mojo. What do you do? I will read and reply to comments. I know I haven't been the best at that. But I think this is it's important because I think sometimes we have a pressure on ourselves and um, maybe that's unnecessary I know I do anyway and sometimes you can get overwhelmed with that and at the end of the day we are supposed to enjoy this hobby because that is what it is okay so I'm adding some copper ones I'm not doing any more where they are together I'm sort of going in at different places Getting a different colour going. I think Nuvo Drops done like this just finishes it off nicely. Brings a different texture in. And uh, gives a completeness to the page. Loving it. And I think that's going to do it. So no pattern paper apart from one cut apart tag <clears throat> and only two, three flat stickers. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve flare, three epoxy flare and five mini epoxy flare and over 40 JD3D. I love this and a wood veneer. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I no, it's a bit different, so hopefully you have. Here is a little close-up look at all of that. And just to give you an idea, there is the dimension on this. And I really love this idea of doing one of these pages for each season, so I can have a seasonal album for each of the four seasons. So we'll see how it goes and whether we do the other three. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and I appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It means so much and really does help us YouTube creators, so thank you. I will be back and I will get my scrappy mojo on and be back scrapping and filming with you guys very soon.
Thank you so much. Have a lovely week and I will see you all later. Bye for now.